Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And of course, Chantal earlier went live. Not super surprising. She got her Simpsons donuts, but also <laughs> I did hear that they were stale. So, you know, I love that for her the most. But with that being said, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? This one's a doozy from what I've seen on Twitter <laughs> or X Twitter, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna eat all of these donuts. I'm gonna like cut off a piece of each and then Salah will have some when he gets home. He's not here right now. So, all right. So this is the packaging and this is like a one-time treat. I'm not gonna get these ever again. I also thought that the ice cream was the treat and you were never gonna be having it again, <laughs> but you know, anyways. Yeah, Simpsons donut, look at it. The Simpsons. So I got, I'll show you guys. So this one is a strawberry cheesecake donut. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, strawberry cheesecake donut. As a cheesecake lover, I will say I really wish I had one of those. That looks really good. And there's a little pistachio donut in there. So this is their XL donut. And this is the Troy McClure donut. Okay, the strawberry cream cheese one. Um, this is the, I think it's the Mo. Mo, you know, Mo. Sislak. So there's those, okay. Then we have another one. I'm gonna keep the boxes, they're so cute. What, they got the kind wrong. I think they got the kind wrong. I ordered a Marge Simpson, but this is not the Marge Simpson. So they messed it up, I think. I don't know what kind this is. It's orange and bumpy. <laughs> and then we have the Nutella crunchy one, which is a Edna. Edna Krabappel. Bismillah bite. Oh, well, they got it wrong, I think, but that's okay. Maybe they didn't have any of the, um, the Marge is so good. Okay, I think they changed their Marge donut because the last time in the picture, it's like a citrus donut. It has like a piece of citrus on it. Anyways, so I'm gonna go get a knife. And yes, there's gonna be people bitching and complaining that I'm eating pieces of these donuts, whatever. I don't care. Like, whatever, it's a treat, so who cares? Just, I'm gonna do it and that's it. Um, hold on, I'll get a knife. Again, what were you expecting? And also on top of that, like, okay, like, it's not my body, it's not my money spent on the donuts, it's not me eating the donuts. Like, girl, do whatever you want. But like, at the same time though, if something were to happen, I hope it was worth it. It's very stale. Let's try a bite of this. Try this, what's it called? Troy McClure. They sent one donut is the wrong donut. It's not the Marge Simpson donut. And when I got it before, it was pretty good, but it's like stale. <laughs> Why is everything stale? No more donuts. Silliest, I'm trying a different donut. So I tried the one is stale. This one is also stale, so that's it. And this one is not even the donut I ordered. That's my major, that's my major complaint is, what is this donut even? It's orange and bumpy. This is the Marge Simpson donut. I love how she went on a five hour rage rebelly. I want the donuts. I want the donuts. Babe, give me the donuts. Only for the donuts to I well, A be wrong and also B be stale. Oh, I love that so much. The boxes are cool. <laughs> yeah, they're really stale. I don't know. They're not fresh. They're not that fresh. It's supposed to be a lemon donut with a citrus piece on it. Like the picture even shows that for the Marge Simpson donut. They send me an orange bumpy donut. Anyway, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell them. Give me a few minutes. Anyway, I'll deal with it after. I'm not gonna eat them. Though. They're really dry, I don't know. And the orange bumpy one doesn't look too appetizing, quite honestly. But I like the boxes. Last time I had them, they were really good. I mean, the cheesecake one doesn't taste horrible. Like the cheesecake part tastes really good. It's from a Simpsons place, like, I don't know. <laughs> She's hoovering, yeah, I know. Sometimes they take, like, if you complain, they want the food back, so I can't eat them. Get a refund, I don't know. I'll deal with it after. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I don't really want it, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let me get up. like, oops, we'll do better next time. No, I'm not ordering next time. You're like, it's not good donuts. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Anyways, whatever. So sorry guys, but at least you got to see what they're like, you know? Sorry about that. I had to uh, put you guys on hold. I tried complaining, but whatever, nothing happened. Like the, the pistachio one was really too gross. It was like really dry. The cheesecake one was okay. Like the flavor, but it was dry. I didn't eat them, Jenna. Haven't you seen their full donuts? I had to try a bite to know it's not good. How am I supposed to know? Just like telekinetically know that they're not fresh? The fuck? Yeah, that's okay, whatever. They are huge. Like, it's a novelty thing, like they're cool, but the this time the quality's not that good. I ordered them earlier in the day. Not as pretty as I thought. Like, the, the the lemon one I got last time was so good looking and yummy. It was like lemony looking, it had like lemon on it and then like a nice citrus twist, but they just don't care today, I guess. Can I do a spin? <laughs> okay. I got my trousers. Make sure nothing falls out. I can't do a 360 spin. There's no room with all the couches in here. <laughs> Good efforts. I hit my toe for you. No kidding. My necklace is cute. Thank you. It's very, uh, it's real gold. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's very grandma and not in like a cute kind of way. It's very grandma. 
Destiny Andrews, hey beautiful, sending you love. P.S. French Fried Ghoul is a gargoyle. Thank you, Destiny! See, it's stale, the Edna. <laughs> it's weird. I can't even eat it. Cricket, why are you being so dramatic? It's a friggin' bite. I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to refund. Like, I was trying to get help, and then I uploaded, like, a picture of the donut. It's wrong. I didn't even complain about the quality, it was the wrong donut. And then, I don't know, it's a confusing system, so I don't know, I'll deal with it later, maybe. We'll see. I still love, I've said this earlier, but just... She spent hours and days to be like, babe, I want this donut, babe, babe, I want the donuts. To only get the donuts and they're wrong. She hates them. Oh, if that's not poetic justice, I don't know what is. Like, I don't know, people see like, oh, a fat person with diabetes eating a, a piece of a donut better come and friggin' be sanctimonious. <laughs> like, give it a rest. Everyone in here makes bad choices. Yeah, and I'm not gonna stop making bad choices. So too bad. <laughs> get over it. You have to rewind, Julianne. I'm not explaining the situation about the donuts anymore. I don't want their new friggin' stale donuts. I'd rather just have, like, a refund, but... They had, like, a 20% off deal, so it wasn't that that bad, but... I'm not gonna cry if, like, I don't get any... If I can't get anything back for it, whatever. <laughs> a locally owned place, yeah. I just wanted to get it because of the Simpsons thing. And honestly, the first time I ordered from here, the donut was phenomenal. It was, like, a big one, and it... Like, I wish I could show you the picture. It was lemon, and it had, like, a citrus swirl on it. I don't know. It was so good. It was the March Simpson one. Even though that we're not talking about the donuts anymore, I'll be skipping any mention of the donuts because she's been going on about the donuts ever since we started. <laughs> An updated house tour? Maybe. I'm not going to show my bedrooms. That's whatever. Think what you want. I don't care. We have a local. That is, that's projection. That's what you would do, right? 450 pounds? I, I can't believe in 2024 that adults still weight shame other adults, especially fat ones. Other fat people. Shaming other fat people. It's so weird. I mean, if that were the case, wouldn't that be kind of an even playing ground, right? Hi, j -Tops. Personally, I would prefer she eat the rest on cam, but if the donuts suck, I don't recommend it. Thank you, anime sucks. No, I, I can't even eat them. Like, I, you guys know. Okay, literally, you guys are messed up in the head. Like, how our word do you have to be to think I'm going to eat this off camera when I literally mook- We know you, girl. We're not stupid. <laughs> Bang and eating entire pizza if I want to on camera. Well, I'm not like you reactors who send hate. I know who sent that super chat. Probably um, Scatadu. Um, the only thing I'm going to be saying about that is I really know that she did not just make a scat joke when it comes to somebody else. Ma'am, the call is coming with inside the house. And I mean, literally. I'm not ashamed of myself and my weight. Like, seriously, I at least can the fuck up. Okay? I show my whole body. I show my whole body. I show my whole body. I show my whole body, all right? So when you do that on your couch, then you can send your two bucks that you're gonna need for your crappy rental house, okay? Yeah. Well, remember when I said that this was gonna be a doozy? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to eat that donut, I would eat it. I don't care what none of y'all think, okay? Thank you. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> you can't fat shame me, I'm shameless. Your son does that exact thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all 330 pounds of me. Or, okay, you know what? Let's say we're 450, just to make people happy. Thank you, Teardrop! <laughs> Anyways. Excuse me, sorry about that. <sighs> Why is Amberlynn's girlfriend a feeder, Juliana? Let me guess, because Amberlynn's fat? No, because quite literally she's been around on feeder sites and her ex died 60 days ago, allegedly. And that's the very condensed version of it. Really? She's in the call? She's a confirmed feeder? Oh. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I hope she does. I don't know. What do you want me to say about that? It's not my business, honestly. I don't know. You made it your business by commenting on it. Let's hear it. If anyone loves it. Yeah, usually Imani, because usually if somebody loves a bigger person, they're a feeder. Exactly. You know? I don't know. I don't really have much to say. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen anything about it. Like, I'm so far behind on a lot of people's content that, uh... No, I'm, I'm not into feederism. I'm against it. So I know that sounds- And this is also the same woman that decided to do like cameo requests when it comes to food. That's completely fine. No, like what that? No, that's a cameo request guys. Don't worry about it. But like anything feeder related. Oh no, I'm against it. Okay. It's weird because people accuse us of that. But that's not the case at all. Um, actually like literally like this is personal and I shouldn't even be saying our business, but before I order or eat anything, Salah likes, you know, he acts like my dad, like this is not good for your diabetes, you shouldn't be eating this and this and that and, you know, but I'm, I gotta do what I gotta do. I mean, at least he tried, I guess, but like also, I mean, if that five hour raid stream is anything like she's like behind the scenes, she must be insufferable behind closed doors. I can't even imagine. So anyways, um, 
But for somebody to purposely be like funnel feeding someone to purposely want them to be fatter, in my opinion, is uh, not not love because you're harming the person, right? So no, Salah doesn't mind fat. He likes he doesn't like thin. He likes plump, but he doesn't want me to be unhealthy because he loves me, right? He doesn't want me to be unhealthy. So I still am responsible for my own actions. I still control what I put in my body. It's not up to anyone else, you know. Bees and let bees. But having a bite of a donut, you know. Does it bug you when he questions my food orders? Yeah, it does actually sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, I get it, so I don't like get mad. I just like, I don't know. It's 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 tricky, like, I don't know what to say. Like I said, the situation is tricky. Like for me, I'm not ever gonna be the type of person to just eat super, super healthy food, like no, like super clean, like no thanks, I don't want to. The thing I will never understand is a girl who's telling you to. You can still eat pretty decent food while being go quote, quote, healthy. I guess to, to everybody else in the world, people just eat boiled chicken and broccoli, like steamed with like two pinches of salt. Like, there you go. There's your whole entire meal. Girl, absolutely not. I don't know. But I want to try to make little realistic changes in my everyday life, like, um, you know, that I can do and then build on that. Like, I can't start right away just like all gung ho, like really super, like, like I said, boiled chicken, kale, like super just, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I don't just order without telling him. Like, I never order food. Like, just, you know, everything we do, we confer with each other. We don't just do things on our own. Um, you sure about that? Because what about that one mukbang that you did while he was sleeping you, and you made spaghetti and you ate it behind his back? Because you quite literally told us that, like, he didn't know that you were making that video? Or is it different, you know? Because, you know, she didn't order it. She made it herself. It's homemade. It's healthy. You know what I mean? Like, if he wants to order something, too, he'll, like... I'm gonna order this, what do you think? Should I order this? Do you want anything? Blah, 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 kind of thing, you know? We always like kind of agree together what to order. Anyways. We asked, you asked us to keep you on track. I think that's impossible because everyone has so many differing opinions, genitalia, what on track and what healthy is. We can't, we can't do it. But I will do some health updates once in a while, like uh, weigh-ins and stuff. Like I'm still like, at the doctors I was 166, now I'm 150. Actually, I'm 152. Like I weighed myself a couple days ago. I'm 150. I was 152 when I weighed myself at that time. And then my blood sugars are usually don't go higher than they're between eight and nine, down from 25. So it's slow progress. It's you know it's something at least. But to say I'll never have a donut, like I can at least have a bite, like a piece, like I cut a piece off. It's not realistic. It's not. It's not healthy to say that. You know, like I don't know. Before this, before this dessert, I had some chicken, so I have protein in my system. Like you know, there's ways to try to make it more responsible than just like, I don't know. So she, yeah, no, I don't see, I'm not, I'm out of the loop with all this, like actual feeder. What does Amber Lynn think about that? Well, I guess my opinion is I don't really have one, but if, I hope she stays safe and I hope it's not true. And I hope no Amber Lynn's are harmed during this process, during this relationship. <laughs> Honestly, there's, it, I know you think like, okay, you're a fat, fat ass, you should be eating, you will eat everything. No, I don't like stale things. They, they gross me out. They taste like cupboard and warehouse. No, second wedding anniversary is November. One time, they take the food back here. I'm not kidding. You can't keep it, usually. One time, we ordered pizza a while ago, and Salah got a pepperoni pizza, and I got a chicken and, like, veggie kind of pizza, whatever. They sent two pepperonis. So we complained that it was the wrong pizza, and then, so they were going to make, they were making the right pizza and sending it, but they wanted us to give back the other pizza. So they might do that with this. <laughs> I don't know. I took a bite out of it. I had to know if they were stale. Give her a bath. Yeah, right. I'm gonna clean up my living room a bit and get it ready to seal time, okay? You guys can watch me. I like jumping on the couch. I have energy, I don't know where it comes from. I think just being on my meds and being on vitamins and I'm, you know, yeah, Nicolette, you have to rewind it. Let's sheesh it up. Okay. I gotta wash it.
still the same. Yeah, there's coals here. They're heating up. They're heating! So you put the stuff in here. I'm gonna put this on top of it. This broke, so I have to put like tin foil on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a three in one. Some collagen. We're gonna let those get nice and toasty while I bring this over here. This is, by the way, Bokur. This one's from Salah's business. Hmm. It's little pieces of wood with scent. I think this is oud. And you burn it in the incense burner. Here. This one has to be emptied, but that's. You missed the book. And yeah, that's a bit of my life here. I'm gonna take this off though because it's getting on my nerves. Babe, I wanted to seal, but look at Julia. How can I move her? I can't, there's no way. No more Simpsons donuts in a million years. Babe, the thing is, is the, the last time I got the donut, it was delicious, you know? She's still on the donuts. I've cut out so much about the donuts, but <laughs> they're still on the donuts. Yeah, I'm only, I'm 3.30 now, yeah. Maybe 3.35 now because I was 152. Last time I weighed myself, not 150. I'm with your third wife now. <laughs> yeah, number three. Oh well, less work for me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> we talked about that. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like feederism. Kim K. I literally brush her every single day. Not every single day. I'm not gonna lie, but very often. And she doesn't have a single mat on her fur. Not one. Do I ever miss not being modest? Honestly, Jean, it's. I'm. I'm so used to this that even to go, I couldn't imagine even going to put like anything out in the hall or going even going out in the hall without my hijab. So no, I. I don't really. I don't really, I don't mind. You can still dress cute modestly. I need to just like get into the style of things, you know? I ordered some things from Timu. I hope they fit me. That's all I can say. You just jumped on your couch and shook. <laughs> no, I jumped because I'm showing myself at least. People have the nerve to friggin' send a two but two, two friggin' super chat and say, <sighs> no more drama, please. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's her go-to. They talk about my kid. They talk about my kid and then she calls the cops. I said she should spend more time with her kid instead of every time getting on my ass like a flea every time I go live. And I said, imagine like, I said, imagine raising a child, being responsible for the moral upbringing of a child and you bully fat women online. Imagine? No, no. So talking about parenting and talking about things like that, morals versus a child is different. Like I wouldn't ever say her kid's name or talk about her kid or talk bad about her kid. No, I wouldn't do that. Like there's a difference, you know? I don't know if she talks about her kid. I don't know. But you guys know how I feel about all these people. I'm not going to go on and on about it. You know, and not even just like the parenting, because I don't know like how these people parent on, on a regular way. I don't know their life, right? But I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to imagine like my mom having a hate channel and like being involved in so involved in drama. Like, what kind of life do you have every time? Every time I go live, you're available to stream snipe and just be petty and like fat shame and, and be like a horrible person. Like, what kind of life do you have if you have time for that? Ain't no one got time for that. Like, what? Which is funny because, girly, don't you have the time? <laughs> uh, okay though yeah ghostface silver yell yeah so that's all i'm saying but they they turn that around into you're talking about my kid no i'm not talking about your kid the fact that she's ready to jump online every time you do you do tells us she probably bed rots all day thinking about you <laughs> no jonah fork no 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 pete's would never if you ignore you can find a positive life you know what ryan you're absolutely right and that's what i try to do gemini the amount of care i give is zero zero care like everything that's already been said and out like from that person is already out a million times. So at this point, they're beating the dead horse. I don't care. Really, I don't care. We've moved on from it and it happened to us. So what do we give a crap what these people say anymore in any interview? No one cares. Like, I don't care. Whatever. You know, like <laughs> it's it was us. It involved us and we've moved on. So like there's nothing that anyone can say. There's nothing anyone can do that will affect us in any way. So mm -hmm. I don't say it, Gemini. I haven't said anything about anything. It's redundant. Yeah. It's milking it for the most amount you can get in, in, in over something so stupid. You know, I've said my opinion on that douchebag to French fry frog fry face. I have nothing else to say, you know? Oh yeah. There's vlogs in the future. Right now I'm homebound. It's friggin' dangerous out there. And after what I, what I did, yeah, went through yesterday. Oh my gosh. But we're going to go to the movies. 
Will you admit she's from the street? I don't know if she's from the street. That's the problem. I wouldn't care if she is. Move out of the way. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Her siblings. <laughs> Why do you guys care, number one, about her being on the streets or no? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that question was. Why does he only say hi to the women? So the women, he says hi to people who, who say hi to him, <clears throat> which are mostly women. And I got like, what, do, what kind of answer do you want from that? He wants them all? Like, I don't know. Have a good night. Yeah, the tale ended. That wasn't super fun. But with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.